Brought to you by Lightspeed Aviation. Zulu 2 once again sets the standard. And by Philip 66, the most trusted wings in aviation. Hi, I'm Jim Christie with Aerostar Aircraft. We're here at uh, AirVenture 2011, and this is the first public showing of the, uh, the Aerostar jet. We have uh, Pratt & Whitney 615 engines mounted on the airplane. They're uh, FADAC engines, full authority digital in control. Same engine that's used on the Cessna Mustang. I flew it out here at uh, flight level 270, and we're doing about uh, 340 knots, throttle back. Uh, it's capable of 400 plus knots. I've had it up to 380 at this point. Uh, fuel consumption is a little better than we expected. Burning about uh, 81 gallons per hour per in or 81 gallons per hour total, 40, roughly 40 and a half per engine. We have an electronic engine display and crew alerting system that displays all the uh, power settings and uh, fuel flows and temperatures. It's a great little airplane that flies just like an Aerostar. It's capable of really high speed, has very high flutter margins, and uh, a very uh, nice, quiet, smooth ride. We're really excited about it. This is the first time we've shown the airplane. Uh, had it flying for uh, more than six months now, and a little less than 200 hours flight time. The airplane uh, has 1,460 pounds of thrust per engine, which gives it a, about a 5,000 foot a minute initial climb rate. Uh, at 6850 uh, gross weight and at 28,000 uh, it's capable of more than 400 knots. The uh, takeoff and landing speeds are the same as the piston airplane. Uh, you lift off at about 90 knots and uh, put the gear up and you'll be through 140 pretty quickly. Climbing at 160 knots you're doing 5,000 feet a minute initially. You have a little more of a, a pitch up when you power up on this airplane, and uh, but that's the right way to go. Like the Boeing uh, people have said, you'd like for the airplane to pitch up slightly when you bring in the power, and when you pull the power off, pitch down slightly, and that's exactly what this airplane does. Approach speed for the airplane is about 120 knots downwind, uh, or about 120 on an ILS approach. Uh, then you go to full flaps, you slow to 100 knots, and uh, you touch down about 80, 85 knots. It's lighter than the piston airplane, so braking is no problem. There's very little residual thrust, and it's very easy to get stopped. Now we plan to uh, certify this airplane as either a retrofit or a new airplane, and we can certainly do retrofits on our own, and we have here a conforming flight test, FAA flight test airplane, which means we can roll right into certification flight testing with the FAA uh, with this airplane. A like new airplane with avionics and everything ready to go would be about 1.8 million. As a new airplane, about 2.4 million dollars. It's also capable, we're also capable of stretching the fuselage 32 inches, uh, which will give us a big club seating area in the aft a part of the cabin. Brought to you by Lightspeed Aviation. Zulu 2 once again sets the standard. And by Philip 66, the most trusted wings in aviation.